you know to tell the time seeing a clock today we learn the angle between the hands of a clock it is 3 o'clock and the angle is 90 degree and at 9 o'clock also the angle is 90 degree at 1 o'clock this 90 degree is divided into three equal parts that is each part is 30 degree so here the angle is 30 degree at 2 o'clock 30 plus 30 or 2 into 30 that angle is 60 degree learn the angle measurement between consecutive numbers in a clock is 30 degree now we see about the minute hand the minute hand moves the same 30 degree in 5 minutes here it is 4 o'clock and at 4 5 the angle between the consecutive numbers is 30 degree so in 5 minutes it's 30 degree and from 5 to 6 6 that is 1 minute in 1 minute 30 divided by 5 that is 6 degree in 1 minute and 12 degree in 2 minutes this is about the our hand there is a trick here see that the our hand moves 30 degree in 1 hour that is in 60 minutes 30 degree in 30 minutes this is 1 o'clock and 1:30 the hour hand moves half the way that is half of 30 that means 15 degree that is in 30 minutes 15 degree in 60 minutes 30 degree 30 minutes 15 degree and in 1 minute half degree so in 10 minutes 5 degree so here remember this the angle moved by the hour hand is half of the minute remembering it you can do the problems very easily and at 1:30 you have to draw the face of the clock now in your notebook you can draw it very neat but for the competitive exams you have to just draw a curve okay then here the time is 130 and so we have to count from 1 30 60 90 120 120 or 5 into 30 150 degree okay then this much is excess we have counted this much excess that is the movement of the our hand what is it 30 divided by 2 half of 30 it is 15 degree so what is the answer the degree counted is 150 and we have to subtract this 15 from 150 so it is 100 35 degree and here the minute hand is leading so we have to subtract in the other case in the next question 1030 uh before drawing the face you may just show this uh, the this face at a mirror you will see a fun don't miss it okay yes the next one is 1030 the face is like this and here the our hand is leading that is we are to uh, count from 10 10 there the our hand is leading 30 60 90 120 and this we have in counted so we have to add this half of 30 to that that is 15 degree 120 plus 15 equal to 135 degree 
Now, 217. Here, from 2, count from 2. 30 and 17 means only 2 marks. 2 marks means 12 degree. That is 30 plus 12 is equal to 42 degree. Okay. So, 42 and you have to subtract half of 17. Subtract half of 17. You will get the answer as 33.5 degree. And the next one is 146. 146 we have to count from 1. 30, 60, 90 and here 1 minute is missing. Isn't it? So, it is 24. So, and here we have to add the hour hand is leading. We haven't counted this much. So, we have to add. So, 137 degree. Now, my question is, can you tell the two time readings if the angle made by the hands of a clock is 20 degree. Try. Try it yourself. Find the answer. All the best and bye. See you in the next class.